Hello all, welcome to Network and welcome back to Mailsoft Tutorials. Today I'm planning to talk about how we can design and define error response in a RAML. Any API, whenever you are designing, make sure that it returns proper error when there is a, an exception occurred. It might be the business error, it might be the technical error. We need to make sure that it written with a proper format with the proper structure of the data. One of the advantages with a good design of error object is it will be easy to understand and easy to solve the issue quickly. Now, I'm going to show one of the design. We can have different types of errors like client errors, which will be between 400 to 499 and server errors like 500 to 599. These are HTTP status codes. So when I say client errors, it is something like, you know, over here you can see the client error. It might be the bad request, the request whatever it is received. It might be the invalid and the request whatever it is received. It might be the unauthorized request. There is a chance of the URL might be wrong. The method might be not available the data requested format might be wrong. Those things will be comes under uh, client errors. Similarly, there are 500 errors, that is server errors. The 500 errors will be unexpected errors, it might be. There is a server issues, the connection might interrupt it. Many things, runtime uh, application errors also. Those will come as part of a 500 uh, errors. These errors, whatever it is written in, we need to design in a better way. Whenever the API is returning as a response, we need to have a proper response, error response. I'm going to provide one of the error design over here. It is better to have the following information in error response so that it is easy to understand the message as well as easy to understand the problem. The type, so what type of error it, it might be? Title, simple description about the error. It can be any technical or non-technical person also should be able to understand such kind of a title like bad request. Everyone can understand that unauthorized. That kind of a title we can give it uh, over here. So the status, the HTTP status like it is a client errors or a server errors to understand easily we can give some status. It will be like 400, 401, 403 or 500 those kind of a number it will be as uh, it will be defined detail the details is going to be the detailed information about error why that error occurred where exactly occurred those information will be assigned to this instance for which uri instance it is having it might be the through transaction id or correlation id maybe you can use the url uh, if it is the uh, uniquely to identify for which transaction it is filed. The define of the error type, which I mentioned, type I'm going to define, title I'm going to define, status, detail, instance. All these data types are string except the status that I'm going to define. Now, if you see the example, how it looks like, the 500 error will be like type it will be this one, like something, server error, and the title will be internal server error. By seeing this, we can understand something wrong with uh, server uh, errors or anything. And the status code, the details, exception details will be presented over here. And the instance is for this URI instance, it is having that error. Similarly, I can save over here. If it is a 400 error, it will be something like this. You know, out of credit is a error type. Uh, you do not have enough credit. That is the title I'm going to give like this. And the status will be 400. It is uh, something wrong with the data or something. And your current balance is something like this. You are going to give clear explanation about here. And the instance is for this transaction. It is. This is just example. So now these things, how I can define in my RAML, how I can put this in RAML, that is what I'm going to show. I'm going to take the same example of the Contacts API. Now go into the design center, start designing. Under that, I'm opening the contacts API. First thing is I want to define error data type. So under data types, I'm going to define a uh, data type. 
click on place over here new file from the drop down i'm going to select data type over here and i'm going to give error then click on create over here i'm going to define those properties what x what i explained over here in the document so i'm going to define the type title status details and instance so the properties i'm going to define properties under this type is i'm going to define as one of the property and the data type will be i'm going to say string over here and i'm going to say a required true then example i can put some example over here let me copy paste from the, my document also the what it is there over here the type will be something like this i'm going to define sorry example okay. so that is one of the property the next thing is title again i'm going to copy paste the same thing over here Control c and the title will be string data type it is required and the example will be something you do not have credit something like this this is a business error by the way and you can have your own uh, descriptions when you are implementing then the status status and the type will be a number you can say and then uh, required true then then example i'm going to say that 400. now the next thing is detail we can put it details also that will be fine so i'm going to put it in complete details as it is data type will be string and it is required and example will be something your current balance is something like this so this will be at runtime it will be decided what message will come under but as of now an example i'm putting over here then instance i'm going to put an instance over here again i'm going to copy paste something like this i can put it this url the instance might be something like this url or if it is a correlation id if you want to put you can define that also anything you can put it this is how i can define the data type as part of this tutorial defining the data type i have shown now i want to include this in a ramel how i can include that in a ramel now i will go to contacts api over here the main file contacts there is a post method under responses if you see currently i defined only the success response over here now i can define the error responses over here there is something over here 400 over here i'm going to define that way if you want to define 500 you can define 500 and if you want to define 403 you can define 401 or 403 whatever you want like this this error course you can define now what is the response it is going to return it is going to return a response with a body that will be some application slash json data it is going to return and it is going to return a type right the type i need to select what i have defined in the data type so i'm going to define that as include i'm going to add it over here include data types under that i have defined as an error that i'm referring over here similarly i'm going to copy this body and add it over here also the same data type will be referred in all the error response it should be common across all apis when you are designing your apis initially itself you need to define this error and you can reuse them i will show in later time also in other apis also how i can use the same error.raml that i will discuss in the later time so this is how we can define the error data type and add that into your main raml we can include this one now how i can include the error examples for this so under examples you can create a new file go to that other i'm going to say error underscore 400 dot json create it i'm going to take an example of what is there in my document currently i'm going to copy this error response i'm going to put it over similarly i'm going to create another file that is other file then i'm going to say error underscore 500 click on create now i'm going to copy my other error over here so there is a comma is missing over here so that is how 
I added as an example over here. How I can refer this examples? Go back to your main over here. Example, you can say include examples as error 500. Similarly, I'm going to add over here also, but it will be 400 error. That is how we can add it. If you see there is some error, details should have details. I think it is in a data type I have defined as a details. So in the examples also, you have to keep it as a details over here. Okay, that is how we can change it. Now you can see there is no error. Similarly, you can create one more response code 0, 01 and we can add it over here also this one also. So this file I need to create. Let me create a new file. Others error underscore code 0, 01 dot data. Now I'm going to copy paste the same content from here to here. I can put it unauthorized. You can save over here unauthorized. Over here I can say 401. You do not have access or something I can put it over. Unauthorized to access API or something. You can put it some message over here. Uh, it will be defined during implementation. Okay. So that is how we can add it here also there is a comma missing so let's put it that way if we go back and see these are the errors we have defined for the one of the method context for post method you can do the same thing the same 400 401 403 whatever the error codes you want to define you can define them in a all the methods I'm going to add it in a get method now. Over here, I can add it like this. Similarly, for all the methods, we can do over here. This is 40204. After that, I added over here a remaining error response codes over here. Clear? So, we learned about how to design error. So, it should be having a proper details in our error response. And defined error data type over here then included that into your main file then we have defined error responses in examples sample responses and that included in a, our main file i hope this is clear how we can define an errors and include in the ramen this will be helpful for some of you that's it for today thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe network if you need the documentation Please uh, look into the description, you will find the link for the document. Thank you.